Get loud, crazy love. Brian, Jenea, welcome to Good Day LA. Um, I watched this last night. It's, it's an emotional roller coaster. It's very powerful. And we appreciate both of you guys um, for speaking out on this. Um, Brian, the, the, the movie, uh, it starts at the, at the beginning of Jenea's life. And you're at the height of your career at this point. Corn yeah. number one. And yet you also are struggling with addiction at the time. You said, I was scared I was going to screw up that kid like I was screwing up myself. Yeah. How did, how did that moment happen for you? It was a, it was a crazy thing, you know, because uh, we had all the guys in Corn. we grew up together. We had this dream, you know, be rock stars, and there we were. You know, we made the dream come true. And, and so uh, just all the excess that comes with it and then just this little perfect picture child baby came into the world Shirley Temple looking kid you know and it's just I was just juggling like how do I how do I do this you know I want to do I want to be a good father my parents are still together you know and it's it was it was hard though because I had I come from a family of alcoholism and and, and things like that so and your parents are featured in, in the documentary as well yes. it talks about the fact that her mom your wife you ended up getting into a fight with each other she ended up sort of leaving the picture. And so now you're, Jenea, in this situation where you have this father who's a rocker on the road, struggling with addiction, mm -hmm. and you're sort of lost. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it led, as a viewer, it led you to believe, how is this kid not going to have some issues from, from, right. from all of this? Honestly. How did you process all of that? Well, honestly, when I was younger, when I was a child, um, it was all sort of fun. It felt like I was, I got to play every day and um, there was a lot of freedom. But um, as I got older into my teen years, um, I started to realize that um, my mother wasn't around and that affected me a lot um, growing up and school and things. And um, yeah, I guess that, that lifestyle just, it just takes a toll on your self-esteem and um, you know, bonding things as a kid, I guess. And, so. and I will say that I was a master at hiding everything. As I say in the film, like I was, a, even though I was on drugs, I was trying to, you know, act like I was okay and be a good father, you know. So and and your was, parents talked about the fact yeah. that they didn't know that a lot of this was happening while it was happening. Um, and then you ended up leaving the band because you came to the conclusion that you couldn't do it all and you couldn't be there for your daughter. Um, and then you found religion uh, which which helped you a lot. Yeah, I found, uh, you know, I I was against it all. And so mm -hmm. all religion, I was like, God, you know, yeah. corn's a little crazy, you know? And so back in the day, <laughs> especially. So what I did was I tried everything. I tried to get the best doctors in LA. I tried, you know, managers tried to help me. And uh, next thing you know, I I just gave up. And I, I, met, I met a friend who actually built like monster trucks and awesome cars and he would win um, he would win contests in the SEMA shows and car shows, and I was like, this guy's cool, I'll hang out with him. This guy invited me to go to church, and I was like, okay. Uh, Christians, I thought, were like Ned Flanders from The Simpsons, so <laughs> this guy's pretty cool. So I went, and I, and I realized, I heard the pastor, the pastor had jeans on, he's a normal guy, and he's like, you know, Christ just wants to come inside and live inside of you, and then he'll work all the kinks out. He'll work all mm -hmm. the, the, the bad things out of your life. And that's what happened. And Jenea then talks about, as he starts to find some structure, you start to hurt some more. Mm -hmm. You were cutting yourself, attempted suicide, yeah. ended up going to a boarding school to try to find some structure in your life. Mm -hmm. How have you two come together again? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So um, I feel like in a kid's life, um, uh, structure and um, consistency is really important in the bonding and the growing and stuff and so um, being at the boarding school I was able to have consistency and um, I got to have my own friends and go to school and just normal kid stuff and that really helped us um, that helped me learn who I was and confidence in myself and so then helped me understand that he loved me so much and he gave so much for me so that, you know, that it gave me a love appreciation. And really quickly, because we're, we're out of time, but uh, this is such an intimate portrait to let mm -hmm. cameras in. What is the message you want people to take away from this? Do not ever give up. If you mm -hmm. just stick it out, things will come around and get better. If you mm -hmm. don't give up and just have faith and trust, you know, so that's the message and that's yeah. all, you know, we're just sharing the love and we're, we're, I was a crazy rock star. Look at our life. Look at this beautiful kid. She turned out so great right. and we're living proof that you don't ever give up.
Yeah, well, it, it's a beautiful story. Thank Congratulations. You. I'm so great to see both of you together. Thank Loud you. Crazy Love premieres on December 14th on Showtime. And there's a special showing tonight at the Grammy Museum, mm -hmm. which yes. you guys are going to be at tonight. 7 o'clock tonight. Tickets still available for that as well. Yes. Um, thank you both for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you.